Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video I would like to talk about lighting and specifically cheap lighting that you can buy like studio lightings that you pretty much see now that well one of them is right here and one of them is actually lighting me up right now um, I just spontaneously decided to do this video that's why I didn't really set up my lights properly but um, I recently well about a week ago just got these two lights both for 50 euros they came with soft boxes and also stands and I'd like to talk about pros and cons and why you might want to get them and why you might not want to get them. Because I personally actually like these two lights a lot and that's why I'm actually making this video right now and thought it might be useful for some of you if you want to get studio lights, like constant studio lights, for a really really cheap price like this. So again, I got these two studio lights for around 50 euros all together right in the set. And I know getting this like type of deal is more of like you're not gonna get the full benefit of having, you know, really, really professional studio lights. And of course you're not, because for these two studio lights, they're actually constant studio lights. That means I cannot dim them or um, put brightness up on them. Uh, that being said, I can probably just go to the nearest um, Bauhaus store kind of thing, construction shop that um, I, allows you to buy this little um, dimmer for the lights and use them with the bulbs but you know that's adding more to the 50 euros and right now I'm actually in my house uh, in Germany where I actually grew up in um, since I was in middle school so this is actually not my studio that uh, that means that the lights that I have here are not professional lights and if I need to do some simple product photo, photo shoots or some YouTube videos like this I need some sort of light to light me up because um, one or two light bulbs or lamps in my room that hits around the corner might not be able to do it in this case. And behind the camera is just all the mess <laughs> that I have from when I was young. So yeah, that's why this is kind of a little bit of a different setup uh, than my usual studio setup in Rotterdam. Um, anyway, into the video about the lights. So I'd like to talk about the pros and cons first, which, well, starting with the pros, well, even though it's big, if I just lift this up, not the way how you should lift a softbox, but they're actually really, really big. And well, for the price, they're really, really big. And uh, they actually can get a lot of uh, things done. That means there are more lights distributed than the typical smaller softbox you might get for around um, 30 euros or 40 euros, things like that. And for 50 euros, that comes with two big um, soft box that's actually pretty nice. That being said, actually, here in Germany, I actually spent a lot of time looking for bigger soft boxes, and I'm glad I found these two. It took me a while, well, to be fair, like half an hour, uh, <laughs> but it just felt like a while because most of the off uh, offers were like 30 by 40, 30 by 30, um, 40 by 40, and I forgot the dimension of this one, but it's definitely actually pretty big, and um. That is actually one of the pros of this particular ones. I, I know in some countries soft boxes are very, very cheap and you can actually get really big one for probably lower prices. But here in Northern Europe where things are actually pretty expensive, uh, these are pretty cheap offers that I could find. And the uh, other pros is the tripods that comes with these um, light stands are actually um, kind of medium quality tripods for the lights. Well light stands that means that there is some weight to it and that kind of helps with you know balancing the whole weight of the light if I put it up really high because this can actually extend to around here so it's actually pretty high for um, the stands that you get with this price point um, I remember getting a light stand before just for a speed light and I was looking for like the most entry level one and that was already like 20-ish euros but that was in the Netherlands and yeah. So if I were to get two of those that means the rest of these um, studio setup would only be 10 euros but um, for 50 euros they managed to pack really nice quality uh, light tripods in here which is actually pretty nice. And now to the lighting. The lighting, um, the pros is that it's actually pretty bright and because of how big the softbox is, it's actually, and also how ref like the nice control of the reflection inside, um, it actually helps to distribute the brightness, not exactly evenly, but um, pretty evenly and impressive for the price that you get it for. And yeah, 
that's about it. And now to the cons. Well, this video will be really short. Um, to the cons. Even though everything is more or less kind of nice in terms of the whole package, I kind of wish that um, the light bulbs, they would use smaller light bulbs, but there are multiple light bulbs within the um, soft box because other offers, whether it's only like, you know, 30 by 30 or 40 by 40, they came usually with four light bulbs inside and it's actually more evenly lit up from my experience, whereas this is one really giant big bulb inside and it's lighting up the whole soft box. So it's, it's not as even as those soft boxes, well, those lights um, on the other smaller offers, but um, it's, it gets the job done pretty much. Um, the second con is that um, the, so the diffuser on the softbox is obviously it's not a pro-grade um, diffuser kind of thing. It does get its job done, but I feel like they could have done a bit better with controlling the diffuser itself. Um, the third downside is the cable is not as long as I want it to be, so f right now the socket is right here for this particular light, um, so it's about four meters long um, cable and for studio use I just wish it's a bit longer um, but yeah that's about it for pros and cons of this <laughs> setup it's it's not something that it's not a kind of video that I usually make but I just wanted to make this type of video in case you are wondering of getting this kind of lighting for your own setup and if you're a YouTube content creator, I definitely, or online content creator in general, like for YouTube, for Instagram and what have you, getting these kind of lights, I definitely recommend if you are on a budget because um, you can actually fold this and it's really, really compact. And the light, there's a nice box that comes with the lights and also a nice carrying case that carries all of this. And the case is actually only about this big so if you're traveling you can definitely carry the case around of course it's not as portable as like having one of those led panels that you can just put it on um places but with those led panels you still have to get yourself the soft box the stand and everything and at the end of the day it will cost more than 50 euros for the whole setup for those led panels and also it will even though it takes lesser space, but it's not that much less space than these two when collapsed down. Because don't forget, these um, softbox can, can also fold like into an umbrella type of thing. And these actually fold thinner than the umbrella because there is no um, middle point to, you know, roll. So you can just literally fold it. And yeah, so it's really nice if you're a traveling kind of person and don't mind carrying an extra um, bag or if you have extra room in your suitcase to put these lights in and you can actually have a portable studio with you when you're traveling and if you just have one camera with one microphone like this or double camera setup you can have like a mini studio wherever you go whether it's a hotel room or your friend's place or what have you and yeah but for the purpose that I have it for my room here in Hannover Germany um, that I don't really have professional lights here because my professional lights are in other um, places like in my studio and also in my house in Hannover, uh, sorry, in Rotterdam. So yeah, right now I just have to make do with these lights. But yeah, I hope you find this video a little bit useful. I personally recommend uh, getting these lights. Again, if you are the type who doesn't mind the, uh, the constant light and can deal with the constant light and also uh, can work around things, but still want to get usable shots and also if you want to do some photo shoots can get, still get usable shots from photo shoots whether it's portraits or products though i recommend it from products than portraits when doing photo shoots then again it depends on what you shoot and what type of genre you're going for and i hope you find this video useful if you want a free um, photography guidebook it's on my website i'll put the link down in the um, description box thank you very much for watching and have fun shooting bye